Another important change that we introduced in this latest development cycle is that we moved from the entity IDs as the main ID for uh, the resource entities. Um, instead of having the, the Drupal entity ID, we are now using the UUID. That is for different reasons and uh, mostly because uh, one, we didn't like the IDs, the same ID in one resource and the other. Uh, they seemed like they were colliding, even if that is uh, not very important. But there is also a um, security-like reason, uh, which is that when you are using incremental IDs, like MySQL uses when you use the entity IDs, then you could just make or try to guess the URL for other resources. So that may not be a good thing for all the use cases. And uh, honestly, you should be making the, the requests to single entities based on collections or entry points and links. So since you should not be constructing URLs manually, the UUID seemed like a good way to uh, make that happen. So uh, you will see if you haven't noticed that already, that if I'm, I undo this error that I had in the last video, um, the ID now is the UUID and not the NID for the node case. So um, yeah, uh, that is uh, both for the payload and when you are want to request a single entity. So you, uh, in order to load this entity, node one, you need to do node article and then the UUID and you get the, exactly that article. Um, since this may not be uh, a good fit for every use case, there is a way to alter that. And uh, that is in the in the JSON API resource info config object, you can toggle between ID and UUID. Uh, if, if you save that configuration object, you will move back to the previous behavior where you were seeing, instead of this, you saw this, and then oh, a number, the one number one in here. So uh, yeah, uh, the recommended and default setting is UUID, but you can go back to ID uh, whenever you want. That's it.